Hi, this is David Wicks, Director of Instructional Technology at Seattle Pacific University. And in this screencast, I want to show you how to set up a, a wiki in Blackboard. We recently changed from Learning Objects Wiki Tool to Blackboard's built-in wiki. And while it's um, not as um, mature in terms of some of the features, it still should uh, work in most cases. And if you're not satisfied with it, I'm happy to discuss with you other options, uh, including to use a, a more of a real-world tool uh, that lives outside of Blackboard. Uh, but probably the, the most common thing that you'll want, um, besides just the basic wiki features, is possibly to get, it, get the wiki so that it will um, actually allow you to specify the users in it. So let's go ahead and build one here really quick. And so we're going to go uh, to a content area. In both information and content in this particular course are content areas. And I can tell when I click on it uh, if it's a content uh, area, uh, if it has these four content menus. And this does. Uh, so I'll be able to find under Tools the Wikis. And by the way, if you do not find uh, a tool that you're looking for, uh, please contact our office uh, I, in, during the upgrade of Blackboard. It uh, looks like some of the tools and some courses are, are disabled from the beginning, and we can work with you to enable them. So uh, if you don't find uh, wikis, blogs, or journals uh, when you're looking to set them up, please contact our office and we'll help you find that. But I want a wiki here. I'm going to click that. And uh, I want to create a new wiki. And so this is going to be Team 1's wiki. Okay. And I'm going to leave everything else as default for now. And go ahead and, and click Submit. And now that created the wiki. Now I'm going to put it on in the content area. So I select it. Click Next, and this would be a good place if you knew the people that you wanted uh, to be on the team, uh, then uh, this would be a good place to, to actually enter those people. So let's say this is going to be a two-person wiki, and I'm going to have uh, Casey and Pritzberg on it. And so I'll go ahead and submit, and so it shows up like this. So. Now, if you don't care if students or teams see each other's wikis, uh, you can just now uh, go back to Tools, Wikis, and create the next teams. They'll know whose wiki it is, who should be working on it, because if you've included the names here. And if each team is doing a different project, uh, uh, then it's okay if they see each other's wikis during the during the... The, the actual building of them, um, then I think you're, you're good to go here. However, uh, a number of professors use uh, are, you have projects where everyone is doing the same project. And so the teams seeing the other team's wikis uh, before it's maybe time to evaluate them uh, can be a problem. So if that's your case, there's a solution. So once you've created the wiki, if you click uh, on the little uh, drop-down arrow uh, and choose Adaptive Release, and this, what we're doing now, works for any any link that you have in Blackboard, um, you can restrict the membership of it. And so if we browse now, and we think we'd see all the people that are in the course here, but we have one more click. We have to click on Go here. And then if I find those people, so I wanted uh, Casey and I wanted Fritzberg, uh, then I should be able to just click on the Submit button now. And if I had other members of the team, I'd get those as well. And you can see it just puts their usernames in here. So if you knew their usernames already, you could just copy and paste them in there with uh, commas in between. Uh, again, this is all I'm going to take care of now. So I'm going to just click Submit.
And once we've done this, then uh, those people and yourself or anyone who has instructor or teaching assistant status would be the only ones who could access this. So um, anybody else in the course um, besides those students will look at this and it will look empty or they will only see theirs. Uh, but if you're in as an instructor, you, you will see the wiki and they will see the wiki. Okay, now you're going to repeat that process. You're going to create the wiki. You would go and uh, choose adaptive release and set up all your teams. And then within the wiki, um, uh, there should be, so this is the wiki content. It's first time in, I'm going to create a wiki. I'm going to create a home page and click submit. And you see the home page there, and then more pages uh, could be created. And so then it probably comes down to whether or not you want these wikis to all be organized the same so you can find what you're looking for. If you've organized the project by phases or required certain pages to be built, um, then you can specify what pages should be labeled. Uh, if you're wanting to make this more of an authentic project where students are responsible for the own, their own design, uh, then you can let them come up with the wiki structure. It is a flat wiki. All the pages will be at the same level. So I think that's probably enough information. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. I'm at dwix at spu.edu. Thank you. Have a great day.